Hi guys, today we're gonna look at what the heck is shallow water and height field in Houdini 90.5. Hi again, my name is Dice and let's do the simple shallow water with height field. Okay, as you can see, all the height field is in the terrain sub menu here. Let's create height field here. Okay, as you can see, height field used for terrain. Okay, now let's create height field noise. That's simple terrain. As you can see, we're gonna we're gonna tweak the noise. Okay, maybe here yeah now let's paint on it height field paint and let's select manipulate tools and paint for instance here as a source of water pay attention that's our the mask field now let's create shallow water and let's go to binding and on the source we're gonna use mask with paint here let's play that let's visualize that first now let's play and see what we have here okay let's increase the time scale and speed up the process and that's a water layer as you can see okay a shallow water is simulate bulky behavior of water if you have a large amount of water it's reasonable to use this solver okay let's paint another source here and let's play another way to create height field we're gonna use ocean evaluate here and ocean spectrum okay now as you can see we don't have anything let's preview the grid and that's our ocean here let's play nice we have an ocean let's tweak some parameters here and i want less wave here in order to active height field we're gonna go to volume tab and enable height field here and let's turn off the preview grid and that's our height field let's increase the resolution here and the size here okay maybe here and the resolution as you can see let me turn off the grid and as you can see we have this height field and we have height and mask field as you can see and that's how we can achieve height field from ocean unfortunately we can't convert our pure geometry to height field although we can project our geometry to height field for that let's create height field project here okay height field project and let me go in there okay now let's have a piggy test that's our piggy test and let's have transform and scale up this piggy test okay as you can see we are project projecting sorry our geometry to height field yeah it's not so perfect but if you have a mountain uh, geometry that will be cool okay we have an add operation here as you can see our piggy are uh, respecting the ocean movement and we have replacing that will be still and solid okay in order to have a rain effect we're gonna use a grid here let's create a grid okay and let's match the size with the ocean okay now let's scatter point on it scatter and we don't need that much let's decrease that and we're gonna use global c to animate that let's put a dollar frame represent our frame here okay now let's instantiate a sphere on this point let's create sphere 
using copy to point and let's scale this down and let's play okay and maybe less sphere okay the key here to using height field mask from object okay we're gonna connect the height field and the object and that's our mask the red dot represent mask field on the height field okay and that's okay for now nice as you can see we have mask field let's create shallow water here shallow water and let's go to source bind the mask first okay let's increase the scale source nice and let's play that's okay for now but we need to change source frequency to the one per frame and that's the rain effect as you can see by the way if you like this video please help us to grow and that's mean a lot to me thanks okay let's fix this artifact first let's create clear mask here to get off the mask and see the field clearly nice as you can see that's way we don't need here okay that's because the scatter node we're gonna delete the node generated in this area okay let's create delete here and let's check bounding box or bound option and let's select our sphere here and let's increase that nice as you can see we don't have any point around our character and let's play that's cool now let's go to shallow water and see our simulation here okay let's play and see what we have nice the issue is gone now okay i have this submarine as you can see and i'm already animate this submarine to go through the ocean okay that's simple animation and now let's use that as a mask object okay as you can see this mask is not correct we need this part of the submarine to be mask only we're gonna go here and change that to above height field and that's correct mass and that's okay okay now let's play and see what we have here okay we have this nice trail effect as you can see that's awesome and let's merge this guy together and that's our effect now let's combine this submarine with our spheres let's give them a merge here and let's connect that here and let's give the merge here and now as you can see we have two masks the rain and the submarine now let's play and see what we have okay that's so messy as you can see we don't have a submarine because the rain effect is so stronger the submarine so to fix that we're gonna separate them okay let me delete this merge and connect these two sphere object okay now let's copy paste that and connect that to submarine and okay we we have these two masks but we're gonna decrease the value on the sphere and increase the value of the submarine okay now let's see what we have here in order to export the height field to texture we're gonna use height field output here and let's choose our name here we're gonna put dollar f3 that represent our frame here okay 
now let's choose our resolution and in this section we're gonna export the layer to the channel of the texture before that let's visualize our layer here okay we have water layer mask layer and velocity for example and height field okay let's assign this layer to the channels here and let's render that this texture can be used for displacement map for example in matter of fact in this video in extra section we're gonna use that in Arnold render to convert height field to object we're gonna use height field convert here okay that's so straightforward now we have this polygon object okay now as you can see all the layer are now point attribute that's awesome let's visualize that let's use color here and change that to ramp from attribute okay that's layer water as you can see okay let me increase that and as you can see that the layer water became water attribute point attribute okay that's height field and shallow water i hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next video peace out Okay, welcome to extra section. We're gonna render height field texture generated in Houdini in Arnold Cinema 4D. As you can see, we have this plane or grid. Let's create standard material here. Okay, we have this material. Now let's create image node to load our image. Nice, let's load our image. We have this sequence nice let's go to animation and check that and extract the frame that's cool now let's put that to color to see them clearly let's apply that and as you can see we have this texture let's render that with ipr and let's go to image attribute here and check single channel and that r g b that's a mask layer as you may remember in houdini and as you can see we have it in sequence okay that's i guess a water layer okay now let's create displacement node here to have displacement node let's connect that to displacement nice let's use this layer for instance now let's play okay we need more resolution let's have that now let's increase the displacement map okay as you can see we have this height field generated by houdini and let's go here that's a water layer i guess that's cool. As you can see, we have all layer generated in Houdini and let's render that and see what we have here. Okay, that's render now. Let's play and see the result. And that's the water layer generated in Houdini. I hope you enjoy this one. Bye.